Today is the 1st of April. The 1st of April is traditionally called All Fools' Day, or April Fools' Day. It is a day for mischief, or playing tricks on people, and for getting people to believe things which are not true. Today is the 50th anniversary of one of the most famous April Fool's Day tricks. It was 1957. BBC Television had a weekly documentary program called Panorama. Panorama was a serious and respected program, reporting on news events around the world. On the 1st of April, Panorama included a report about the problems facing spaghetti farmers in Switzerland. There were pictures of people picking spaghetti from spaghetti trees and laying it in the sunshine to dry. But the spaghetti farmers were afraid that a late frost would damage the spaghetti crop and destroy their livelihood. Fifty years ago, most British people did not know much about Italian food, like spaghetti. Many people apparently accepted the documentary at face value. Some people say that it was many years before they found out that spaghetti does not really grow on trees. No, spaghetti really does not grow on trees. It was a joke. All right? The Panorama Report was a spoof. Ever since then it has been common for newspapers to carry spoof stories on the 1st of April. So this morning I opened my newspaper eagerly to find the spoof story. There was a story that the London Transport Lost Property Office had just found the owner of an urn containing human ashes which had been left on the underground eight years ago. Surely that was a spoof. But no, the story was in fact completely true. And then I found it. I told you in an earlier podcast that our Prime Minister, Tony Blair, is expected to retire later this year. What will he do when he is no longer Prime Minister? According to the Observer newspaper, he will start a new career as an actor. He has been offered a part in a play at a leading London theatre in the autumn. He is already learning his lines. He is practising them with his staff in 10 Downing Street. He has also been offered parts in the BBC's science fiction programme Doctor Who, and in several comedy shows. But is this really an April Fool's spoof? Our Prime Minister is one of the finest actors in Britain today. He could convince people of anything. He can convince himself of anything, such as that there are weapons of mass destruction in Iran. Do you know Shakespeare's play King Lear? It is about an arrogant and powerful king who decides to retire. He divides his kingdom between his three daughters. But he then argues, first with one daughter and then with the others, until in the end he goes mad. Tony Blair as King Lear? Yes, I think so. Goodbye.